What's up guys, welcome to the video today. It is post deer season and we've already got some projects underway. All right, sorry if I seem a little distracted, but uh, there's some law enforcement who uh, they're kind of keeping an eye on me and wondering what I'm doing, so we'll keep going. I uh, went out recently and bought this uh, used canoe and I used to have a kayak back in the days, haven't had one for a while. I've been wanting to get back, get a nice hunting canoe and get it rigged out. And this is the recent purchase. It's a 14 foot Northeast Outfitters kayak. I believe the only thing I can find is that it's a Dick Sporting Goods model. That's where the guy said that he bought it in between four or 500 bucks. So paid hundred dollars cash and hundred dollars worth of gift cards um, that I got around Christmas for it. So this is a new project and judging by the title, you're here to see one thing or a few things. That's cool. We're gonna cover, this is gonna be kind of a segment by segment project. We're really gonna kind of rig this out for mostly hunting. Uh, getting around the lakes here in Texas and maybe doing a little fishing, but I really want to rig this up for a nice uh, Steady stable hunting canoe when I first bought the thing I had to figure out one thing Today's video. How am I gonna haul this sucker? Uh, well, I made a mistake I went out and I did some research and bought the first thing I found which was a trailer hitch u-shaped lumber hauler canoe hauler kayak hauler and I actually ordered that thing and I got it in in the mail unpackaged it and you know, I didn't film any of it, but uh, I was not impressed. And first off, with that thing, you have to figure out how to lock it. It's very square. It's very square angled, so you, you, your canoe or your kayak really doesn't fit in it very well. Consider putting pads around the support bars. Uh, you got to get a bolt lock for your trailer hitch. When you lock that thing, it's going to be very heavy duty. I got to figure out how to haul this thing, and I want to do it as safely as possible. So. Here we go. We went and made this bad boy. So what this is, is this is a deck board that I had and I got these two rubber tire chocks. You can get these from Harbor Freight for about six bucks. You can get them from uh, Tractor Supply for about 15 or 18 bucks. We'll put a couple of links in the description below on that. This was actually pretty simple. Um, I, took this, I took this deck board and I cut it to length for the width of the back of the truck bed and I notched it out where it fits just inside the truck bed where the lights are and so it can't slide out fit it in there nice and tight rounded off some of the edges and I placed these cleats on top of the could on the top of the board and slid the canoe up there and maneuvered it around and got it in position to where I thought it was perfect elevation put the level on top of it where it was sitting nice and snug and I took a pencil and I marked out these these cleats chocks marked them out on the board got me some all-weather deck screws and screwed these bad boys down now some of the keys to doing this when you're placing this when you're when you're fitting the canoe or the kayak for something like this you want to leave some space in between the bottom of the canoe and the board right at the cleat you want to give it space so when you ratchet strap that sucker down that it actually has a little bit of room to pull down into these grips without sitting on that board because you're not really doing yourself any help so that way you pull down into these rubber cleats you get a real good grip I am totally impressed on how this thing has worked out so I've been hauling it all around town I hauled it down here to the boat ramp today this is about a seven or eight mile trek there's some really good uh, potholes and and bumps down here so we'll go ahead and strap this thing back down on the truck and uh, we'll show you how we do that real quick and we'll give it a test run so it's pretty straightforward You're just gonna get your canoe back and get it ready where I'd be wheeling this up my holler I'll take this Is. Pick her up. There we go. And she is there. She's nice and level. It's way more than plenty. So now that we got her all strapped up, let's take her for a test drive, see how she holds up. Ugly one coming right here trying to get out of this parking lot. Big ugly bump right here. Well, now 
now these cops are really starting to wonder what I'm doing. I was planning on tearing through here just a little bit harder, but since the laws are watching, that's not something you want to do. Like loop around. She's pretty steady so far. We'll do one more trip down the hill. Hit this nice ugly hole. And we're there. that let's check her out that thing hasn't moved an inch so that's it guys thanks for tuning into the video today again if you're in the market for a canoe or kayak don't go out and buy one of those big metal hitch haulers go build you a homemade hauler like this for less than 20 bucks a big diesel coming up right behind me <laughs> uh, that's country fried right there don't overspin. Hope you enjoyed the tip, guys. We're going to have some more segments on the canoe as we get this thing ready to roll, ready to scout, ready to hunt, and uh, maybe do a little fishing. So I'm enjoying it so far. See you next time.